All right, my name is Dominic Morlani with Ledge Hill Landscaping. We are working here in Solon, Ohio again, and here we go. So one of, the, one of our projects we got going on here is we have a retaining wall. It's gonna be a Pisa River color, and uh, it's gonna be a curved wall going around here. The uh, spec on the block is a three foot radius. So we're gonna drive a three foot uh, piece of rebar into the center here. And then we're gonna take a tape and then we're gonna go out about three feet, four inches away from the wall. Then we're gonna make a nice curved wall going up and through here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna excavate all this stuff out right here. We're gonna bring in a plate compactor. We're gonna compact the soil. We're gonna put down uh, the crushed limestone, uh, setting bed of number fours. And then, uh, then we're just gonna start uh, installing all the block. And then uh, we're gonna clear out all this bed. And then over here, we're going to continue the bed over this direction. And then um, we are gonna do uh, new beds going all through here and then level out the ground. <clears throat> all right, so right here we have uh, basically the radius of this wall all marked out with orange paint. It's not the color you're supposed to use. You're supposed to use white paint as proposed excavation, but instead we are gonna be, uh, we just had orange in the truck, so that's what we're using. So. As you can see right here, the wall's gonna curve in. Um, and then we gotta take out some of this dirt right in here. And then we're gonna, <clears throat> we're gonna go back about six inches past this line right here. That way we have a proper setting bed and then we can backfill it properly. So here we go. We're uh, over here. This is day two of the retaining wall. We haven't been here. Uh, not all the guys have been here working on it, so it's not getting done as fast as we probably could get it done. But here's what we're looking at. So we have um, the first couple layers all set out. Um, everything's nice and level. We have the correct batter, and then we're coming in and we're backfilling it with a number 57 limestone, clean, no fines. 
It's angular, locks into place, uh, good for drainage, and it'll be good for the French drain that we have under the wall. And then we're gonna come along tomorrow and we're gonna cap off all of the, uh, all of the wall here. So we have this capstone right here. And what we're essentially going to do is we are going to just come along here. We'll come over here to the back, back side of the wall. We already have one kind of just set out just to see how it looks. And we're gonna set this into place like that. And we are gonna just cap off the whole wall going across. And uh, that's pretty much gonna be it. We're just gonna have to backfill the rest of this right here with uh, the 57 limestone. And then uh, we're gonna backfill with topsoil. Uh, most likely there is gonna be a tree of some sort right in here and, or a uh, larger shrub. And then we're gonna uh, level out this whole area over here, seed it all up, make it look good. And then we're gonna go along and we're gonna put beds around the back and uh, we're gonna continue the rest of this whole project out. So this is the first main part of the project. This is day two of the retaining wall. Tomorrow we will finish only a couple hours of work left to do. Alright, so this morning, starting off Saturday, we're going to go ahead and do the top finish layer, the capstone. And the first one, we got our corner piece. So if we have our corner piece on the other side as well, we're gonna make sure this one's lined up nice and flush. Make sure this is tight against that last layer of cloth. And then we can go ahead and um, make it so they fit at an angle. And what we can't, we're gonna have to cut and um, line up so it fits nice and round and around this curve. There's probably gonna be a lot of angle cuts. We got our T-square for that and a level and we'll just get it done, get it through, come back with 57, um, about eight inches from the top of the layer, and then come back with our dirt for that above, just so there can be a garden and trees for grass to grow and plants and not uh, be affected by that 57 drainage. And come back through and just do all the grading as well. And from that, it'll be done. So here we go. We have pretty much the finished product of what we are uh, trying to achieve here, which is uh, this curved retaining wall. So we have everything set in. We have our base layer. We have everything level. Everything uh, has the correct batter, correct batter from the wall. And then uh, we put on the capstone. This is uh, this block is called a uh, Unilock Pisa in the color river. That color is river. It's a bluish, um, bluish orange color. And that is, uh, that's pretty much what we have. So we have everything ready to be backfilled back in so that we can grade out this area in the yard over here. We can grade out this area in the yard, slope everything down. This is another part of a different project that we're doing here. And then um, we're gonna come back through, make sure all the fabrics cut away and then we can backfill the wall and uh, this wall will be here for years 